Hey guys! Welcome to this video. I'm Q and we're going to talk about entity relationship models. So we have four main points. Entities, attributes, relationships, and keys. So that's what we're going to talk about. So let's begin! First up, entity. So what is an entity? Entity is an independent existence that can be identified. It can be an object or someone. I can be an entity, so we'll name that entity Q. And for, the, for our next stop, we're going to talk about attributes. What is attributes? Here we go. Attributes. Attributes are small pieces of information. They used to describe entities. So our entity earlier is Q, that's me. So what are my attributes? My attributes are tall, dark, and handsome. Those are my attributes. Next up, keys. Keys. It can be an attribute or a series of attributes that identifies an entity. There are two types of keys, primary key and foreign key. A primary key is an attribute that is exclusive to that particular entity. For example, our entity earlier is Q, that is me. And I have my attributes, tall, dark, and handsome. I'm sure that my primary key is not tall, because they're also the same height as I am. And neither is dark, because of my skin color, they're also the same as I am. But I'm pretty sure my primary key is being handsome. Anyways, it's the foreign key. A foreign key is an attribute that links two entities together. So for example, we have the department entity and the employee entity. In the department entity, we have a series of attributes. And one of its attributes is its primary key. And that primary key is the department code. While on the employee, uh, its primary key is the employee ID. And one of its attributes is the department code, is the same as the other entity. And that attribute links them together. It shows the role of that particular entity on the reference entity. And that is the foreign key. Now to talk about relationships relationships between entities. A relationship captures how entities are related to one another. For example, the owns relationship. A company owns a computer. The owns in between the entity company and the entity computers. So that's how they are related. The company owns the computers. And another example is the performs relationship the artist and the song. So the artist performs the song. And that's how they're related. Under the relationship, there is cardinality and ordinality. In cardinality, cardinality refers to the maximum amount of time the instance of an entity is related to the instance of another entity. However, on the ordinality, Ordinality focuses on the minimum amount of time that instance is related to the associated entity. So there are different types of diagrams. The first and basic one is one way. In one way, the entity is related only to the other entity, not vice versa. So for example, I own a cup, but the cup doesn't own me. I'm the only one who can own the cup. That is one way. The one-to-one -one is that each entity is related to one another. So for example, in marriage, the husband can marry the wife and the wife can marry the husband, but they cannot marry anyone else, just one-to-one. -one. In one-to-many, an entity A is related to many entities. For example, a company, the relationship with the employees is that the company hires employees. So there are lots of employees, but there is only one company. In many to many, there are many entities that is related to other many entities. Vice versa, they are related that way. In one to zero or one, 
uh, depicts a relationship of an entity that can be related to another entity or there'll be no entity which means uh, if I'm a freelancer and I want a client I can get a client however there is a chance that I won't get any clients at all it also means the one to many or zero and one to many or zero is also the same as one to zero or one except instead of just one entity there are many entities or no entities at all in many to zero or one there are many entities that can be related to one entity or no entity is also similar to many entities to many entities or zero so if um, if many entities are related to many or zero it means that it can have many entities that it can relate it relate to or there are no entities to relate to and that's all the diagrams of each cardinality and ordinality of relationships between entities thank you for watching